Hello everybody and welcome to part 8 in this Lua tutorial series now. Uh, this is going to be a short video, we're just going to cover uh, a basic function which is local. But it, it can be insanely useful and especially if you plan on taking your knowledge into things like Gary's mod. Uh, local is going to be vital to know to make your add-ons compatible with other ones. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, open up this file. Now, in this file what we're going to do is sorry excuse me all right there you go so what we're gonna do is let's say i had a variable okay actually i'll make an if statement if one is equal to one now inside here if we made a variable called test and we set it equal to 100 right and then underneath we go ahead and we print out test well test exists it was created here and its value is 100 so it prints out 100 now if we put local in front of a variable's name when we create it, only when we create it, not every time you reference it, um, then that means it's local to whatever it is part of. And in this case, the variable test is within the if statement here, which means it only exists inside of this if statement and nowhere else in your code. So if I try and run my script now, as you can see, it prints out nil because it couldn't find this variable. This variable didn't exist because it only existed within here. Whereas if I go in here and I try and print out test, Whoops, if I print it out in here instead of here. Whoops, sorry, double, uh, double minus is a comment. Uh, as you can see, now it prints out 100 because it can find the variable. Now something to note is it's also anything that is a child of the if statement that you're doing it with. So even though local test doesn't exist outside of this if statement, it exists within it. Meaning that because this if statement is within it, it exists in here too. So in here, if I try and print out test, as you can see there, it will also find the variable. Now, this works for everything from functions. Let's say we had a function, okay, and we had a variable inside. This variable lol would only exist inside of this function and nowhere else. And same as if we had a for loop, it would only exist inside of the for loop if we did local test. So that's local. Um, I just want to make sure that you understand it because uh, we will be using it a lot. Um, but yeah, it's very basic. I will again leave a link into the description to some information on it if you're still stuck. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. I hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.